All, we'll start with an opening statement from Coach, and then please use the raise hand function on the Zoom. We'll call on you. Go ahead, Coach, please. All righty. Well, I think the story of the game, uh, and we just couldn't get anything going offensively. And, uh, you know, the three and outs, the inability to win on first down, inevitably put us in third and long, and the execution wasn't quite there on third down. And then we're punting the ball, I thought, for the most part, especially in the first half, our defense was giving us a chance. Uh, they were getting stops in the red zone with short fields. Um, I thought we got a little momentum going there in the third quarter. Uh, and then the two drives right there in the third quarter, I think kind of sealed the game with the uh, turnover on downs and then obviously the fumble. Um, so we got to get back to the drawing board. You know, we, 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 that, th this, this was not a performance I was anticipating, um, but, you know, we'll find out about ourselves and, and what we're made of. Um, Cause I really believe this one game's not going to define us, but uh, we got work to do. That's for sure. Thank you, Sam Conley. This off, please. Hey coach, uh, 333 yards rushing for Arkansas. Uh, how disappointing is that? And what did they do up front that uh, they were able to gain that kind of yardage? Well, I think, you know, over time, they kind of wore us out. You know, we couldn't sustain any drives offensively. So our defense was on the field uh, to a point to where um, kind of wore out, you know, I mean, 47 rush attempts. Um, we never, we never put any pressure on them to feel like they had to throw the ball. They were throwing the ball when they wanted to, uh, but they were running the ball. They were leaning on us and over time runs started spitting. Um, but again, I think part of that was we just didn't get it done offensively to take any pressure off our defense. Brian Davis, go ahead, please. Steve, the, the way that the, the way that the offensive line was struggling, did you think about putting Casey in earlier? If nothing else, we're just a change of pace. Um, yeah, I did. You know, I, again, there was a gut thing. You, you know, hindsight's twenty twenty. Maybe you look back and, and do it earlier. But we did it when we did it. I was proud of Casey and the way he competed. Um, you know, I, again, we just – we didn't as a team play well enough on early downs, and we put ourselves in really difficult third and long scenarios. Um that, that, that it's hard to convert third and nine, third and tens consistently. And that's where we live tonight. And uh, you're not going to win playing that way. You, you've got to play better on first and second down. And we didn't do that tonight. Nick Moyle, go ahead, please. Yeah, Steve, obviously, you know, it was a tough night for the offensive line. I'm sorry, Nick, I can't hear you, buddy. I can't hear you. Sorry, you hear me? Yeah. Uh, sorry, yeah, it's a little loud out here. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to ask about the offensive line. Uh, obviously, a difficult night for them. You know, what do you think was giving them um, problems throughout the game? Well, you know, I, I think this was a, a, a big physical defensive front. Um, I think the movement that that uh, that they that they u utilized up front caused us a few issues. Um, and you know, the reality of it is, you know. Whatever it was, whether we we'll go to back and look at the tape, you know, from a scheme standpoint, putting our players in the best position to be successful. Um, the reality of it was we weren't tonight and we weren't up front and we, we're going to need to have to be better than we were tonight. Uh, being able, ability to run the football, especially when they played the style of defense that they played, where they borderline dared us to run the ball and, and we just couldn't run it enough effectively on early downs. Chip Brown, please. Steve, what, what is the uh, situation with the quarterbacks going forward? Uh, pretty early to ask that question. We'll have to take a look at it. Anwar, go ahead, please. Um, Coach, um, you guys did a really good job tackling in week one. It seemed like there was a little bit more missed tackles. What do you think contributed to some of those breakdowns? Well, you know, I, I thought I thought we were tackling pretty good early on. Um, again, I, I think I think fatigue set in. Um, I think, you know, I, I don't think there was a lack of fight or effort, but inevitably, you know, tougher people to get on the ground. And these guys, they were they were they had a good change of pace with a smaller back to a bigger back to the quarterback. And we, and we knew what this game was going to be. This was going to be a big you know, physical game. They were going to try to lean on us. 
Um, and they were able to do it. Um, and inevitably we started to miss those tackles. We started to have some breakdowns and, and some things started to spit out. So, um, you know, we, we, we've got to have to be better moving forward. That's for sure. Kirk Bowles, please. Yes, Steve, uh, you mentioned uh, this wasn't the type of performance you anticipated. Are you in a little bit of a shock about you know, how Arkansas was able to dominate you tonight? Uh, I'm sorry, I, I, I can't hear great. One more time. Yeah, I was wondering if you were a little bit shocked that Arkansas was able to dominate the game like they were most of the um, night. You know, I, unfortunately, I don't know how much of it was what they did as opposed to what we did do. And, you know, they're a good football team. Um, you know, I think Sam's done a nice job with their team. But, you know, I think the majority of what happened was we didn't play great. You know, we didn't we – did, we weren't – we weren't locked in as the way we were from an assignment standpoint, up front blocking. Um, we didn't execute great in the pass game. Um, you know, we, we had some mishaps that we didn't have last week. Clearly, you know, we, we, we dropped the snap on a punt. You know, there just things happened in this game that we didn't have to deal with last week. And so, um, you know, there's always your concern when you go on the road in a hostile environment at night of, keeping your temperament of your team right so that you can go out and perform and execute. And clearly that didn't happen tonight. So that's the thing that uh, is probably the most disappointing that we've got to make sure that we get back right moving forward. Danny Davis, please. Steve, I don't know if you believe in the concept of momentum or not, but did you feel that the team lost anything on, the, on that defensive drive after you guys pulled within 16-7? Well, you know, I mean, they, they, you know, they popped a couple runs right there and got down and went and scored. Um, felt like we were going to come right back. And then again, the next two series were really the, the key where, you know, we have the turnover on downs and, and, the, and the, uh, the fumble with Hudson right there. So, you know, I, I think we got some momentum, obviously with the interception by BJ, we went and punched, we went and punched it in. We started the start, momentum started to get on our in our favor, but you know they got it back and then they they kind of captured the game moving forward after that. Joe Cook, please. when their three can do what they can get pressure against your five, what are some of the things that you you try to do to try and help them out and help your quarterbacks out when their three and rush is able to be so effective? Uh, I can't hear. I, I don't. I don't know what else to say. Joe, go ahead again, please. Can you hear me now? Yeah. When when their three man rush is able to disrupt your pass and run game as much as they were tonight, what are some of the things that you try to do, and, and what did you try to do with, in response to that? Well, you just try to run some things that that you think the guys believe in and, are, and that are that they're good at, uh, whether it's uh, you know s specific run schemes or protections. Um, we were just a little jittery for whatever reason. Um, you know, there, there were, I don't think it was about the looks that we weren't prepared for them. Um, we just didn't play to, to our standard, to our capability. So you try to settle them down by doing things that they're comfortable with um, to kind of calm the nerves a little bit. Uh, unfortunately, it was a little bit too late. Brian Davis again. Steve, going back to the offense in the first half, though, a lot of people are just going to look at it as, well, they're going to say, well, Hudson played whatever. But was it a Hudson issue or was it a line issue in, in, a, in the numbers up front in the way Arkansas was, was coming? Well, I, I think it was a combination of everything. I, I just don't think we didn't play – we didn't play very good as a football team, especially an offensive football team in the first half. Um, you know, I thought we had some opportunities that we didn't – we weren't able to take advantage of. Um, you know, we end up, you know, we missed a couple couple plays that I think could have helped us. Um, you know, the one to, to Jordan Winnington in the end zone was a little bit behind him. Then we went deep again to Whittington and he wasn't able to pull it in. We had the missed field goal. There were, there were just things in the game that didn't, we didn't create the momentum to get it back in our favor. Now, um, could we have blocked better? No question. Could Hudson have maybe played better? Sure he could have. Could we have ran better routes? Yes. You know, so everybody, you know, takes a part in this thing, coaches included, um, that we have to, uh, we got to get back to work and understand that the way we played tonight was not good enough to, for us to win. And so 
you know, what are we going to do moving forward to, to ensure that we put ourselves in position to, to be in a winning position in the fourth quarter next week? Two last ones for Coach Terry Middleton, please, first. Coach Sarkeesian, thank you for being here. It's a tough loss. Um, like you said, you have a, you have to go back to the drawing board on this, but were there anything, was there anything about the game tonight that was good? Was there a silver lining to some of the teams perform as planned or uh, up to your standard or, you know what I'm saying? Was there something good about the play tonight or a, a, a team that uh, did pretty well that you could say yes? Well, I like, this like I said, in, in the first half, I was really proud of our defense and, and able to get stops. Um, when the offense just wasn't playing great. You know, I, I thought I thought our guys battled, they competed, they forced field goals, even on some short fields after the muff snap on the punt. Um, so that was a positive. And then on the flip side, I thought late in the game, uh, you know, offensively, the guys battled, they competed, uh, and really as a team, you know, I don't think we ever, you know, we never waved the white flag, guys battled and guys competed, and that's a good sign moving forward. Last one for Coach Chip Brown, go ahead, please. Steve, what were you seeing from Hudson um, on those first nine possessions that kept you sticking with them? Well, I, like I said, it's, it's not about just the game. It's about the work you put in throughout the week. I thought Hudson had a good week of work. Um, you know, it's, it's easy to point the finger at the quarterback when things don't go good, and it's easy to point the, the finger at the quarterback when, when things are going great and praise him. At the end of the day, it's, there's 11 guys on the field that have to perform collectively, and and we didn't get it done tonight. Thank you, Coach. Appreciate your time. Okay, guys. Thank you. All hang on. <clears throat> Please keep.